Blessings and greetings, my angels. Thank you for joining me in another session for Energetic Messages here at Sacred Sagittarius Angels and Sizzle, your YouTube channel for Sagittarius Energies, your long-standing YouTube channel for Sagittarius. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And hey, what are you waiting for? If you've been popping in or checking the energies and you haven't subscribed, you don't have to be a subscriber as far as being a member there's no membership it's free to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and you don't even have to be a Sagittarius you can love the sound of my voice or you just love the messages that I put forth for the Sagittarius community even though they are catered and guided towards Sagittarius listen it can apply to anyone at any particular time in their life if you really look at the bigger scheme of things as we continue I'll be finishing up um Probably by tomorrow, I want to say, your first half of your Sagittarius messages for the month of July of 2024. And then probably the end of next week or the following week, we'll start doing a few mid-month updates. Not as many. I don't cover all the initial readings that I do for mid-month updates. And sometimes I might do some that I didn't get to do in the first half, and I'll introduce them in the second half. So look forward to that. But as we continue and we're finishing off, we're going to um, start now with your protection and release video. And this is a reading that I do which taps into things known or unknown um, that can be coming from other people's energies or auras to, to you in a negative way, how to protect yourself, how to be alert, how to be on guard, which is something you should always be, um, and to help you to continue to grow and to learn spiritually. And in addition, to release the things, thoughts, ideas, or people or actions that you're taking, or maybe you need to instill actions into your life for your protection for your sound mind and for the benefit of your abundance and your beautiful spiritual journey okay cards are always blessed prayed and shuffled over before all of my readings sometimes or most times you will hear a chime or bell in the beginning and that's just to cleanse the space and raise the vibration in the room you are more than welcome to do the same with me burn a little incense or say an opening prayer however you feel comfortable but when you watch these videos know that they are time stamped and if you don't want to hear the intro you can go right back to the timestamp, um, you know, and go back to the intro later on. You can just go to the reading, but sometimes it's great to go back to the intro so this way you can find out if there's any channel updates or anything going on that I'm trying to alert you to. And more importantly, try to watch the full completion of the video. I know some of you just skipped through. Not only does it help the channel grow and really give it the acknowledgement that it deserves in the YouTube universe, but also it gets you the full message the part that you might skip might be that part that has the message that you've been waiting for or the message that you need to receive that you don't even realize that you need so I get it we'll, we all work and we're all busy but we should never be too busy for self-growth self-development and self-healing our spiritual journey is such a strong and the sole basis of many of our foundations and our purpose on this life so don't cheat yourself out of these messages if you can't watch it in its entirety, that's why I try to keep them as an impactful with as much information, um, but keeping them short, but trying to give you everything that I feel that I'm guided to give you in these messages. So please take it upon yourself, even if you have to watch it in, you know, in spurts, to try to watch the full completion of the videos. And again, thank you. And um, next week I'll be doing a subscriber card pull. It will be the first one. For the month of July and then towards the last week of July I'll be doing another subscriber card poll and that's where I do uh, my little thank yous to subscribers who've been commenting or those of you who've gotten personal services from me even though I really haven't been doing any personal services since I shut down my shop even and but I am available for past people that I've given readings to in the past I am still available to give you readings if you require just contact me personally for that but I'm not doing any new readings for um, any new subscribers or anyone that I have not read for in the past I'll see if I'll open up that opportunity in the future um, time wise and energy wise and price wise I mean it's a lot right now so I haven't really reconsidered it but definitely definitely to all my past um, subscribers or 
persons that have gotten readings from me, I am still available if you wish to get a reading. And I suggest you get a reading at least, at least a minimum once a year or twice a year if there's something going on in your life. But other than that, I wouldn't suggest getting personal readings too, too often. It can be conflicting. And I definitely wouldn't suggest getting readings from multiple people on a, a base on a, on a basis. Everyone has their own interpretation. But remember, your intuitiveness, your gifts, your talents, your common sense really can help guide you on the answers that you're seeking. Anything that a reader or a spiritualist adds to it is bonus, but you don't need to get it from multiple people. So I would suggest whether it's me or someone else, limit yourself, like I said, to your intake of how many videos from you know YouTube or anywhere you get your spiritual content from. Um, try to narrow it down that you get comfortable in the space, even if you have one to two or maybe three the max that you kind of keep on a rotation or that you go to that would be great i mean i practice that for myself as well i um sometimes i might click on a channel if i see a, someone using a deck or something that i'm interested in just to be you know a little inquisitive but otherwise than that i really only check out um t on a regular basis maybe two to three um content creators as far as the spiritual um realm here on youtube a lot of others i really just you know, the vibe is off. I, I don't really connect to their readings. Um, and like I said, you don't need to watch everyone's channel. That's just TMI, like the kids would say, too much information. And then you're getting different information, conflicting information. And you know, not everyone is on the up and up, you know what I mean? Um, I do this because I, I am a Sag and I'm really um, in tune with the Sagittarius energy and I love doing this for the Sagittarius community and it's a gift to myself. It's a learning process and healing process for myself as 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 well. So again, be careful of who you extend your energy to and who you receive energy from. It's your personal choice. But remember it all starts with you and it ends with you and you have the freedom to do what is right for you. And I support you along your spiritual path. Okay, enough give me jibber jabber but I I wanted to get that out because I want you to know my sincerity and in, in wanting to you know be transparent with my feelings about the channel and about YouTube and just about our spiritual path and journey and what my purpose is here and that's why I do a mission statement once or twice a year to remind you that I'm here because this helped me my spiritual path my journey um, experiencing you know the messages and the cards has gotten me through dark and difficult times and you know i'm praying that the messages that i'm guided to for you during these readings do the same for you but you still have to do the work ultimately at the end of the day okay so let's get started um it's now 807 so it'll be time stamped at 807 when we start officially with the opening prayer heavenly father cleansing the space and raising the vibrations for myself and all sagittarians and cross watches watching Thank you for guarding and protecting us with the shields of St. Michael and all the angels and saints. And thank you for our ancestors who have gone before us, who still paved the way and still guard and protect us as well. We thank our angels for the heavenly light upon us. Please show me through these cards as you feel and wish. I know that, and we all know that not everything is to be known to us and not everything should be shown to us. But what you are willing to share, what the universe and angels are willing to share through these messages, please show Sagittarius for the month of July, what it is that they need to release, what it is that they need to concentrate on energetically when it comes to to toxic energy or negative energy or anyone or anything or any action that they might be doing themselves that could put them in a negative light or um, jeopardize their spiritual journey. We thank you, we thank you, and we praise you. Amen. Okay, so cards have been shuffled, but I'll give it another quick shuffle. We know what the intention is for this reading, so let's see what we get. Uh, I think seven cards today is the feeling that I'm getting from this deck. Someone is doing black magic or juju on you. You might have heard me say that word, juju, and I'm going to get to this card. That's why it fell, you know. It fell because... I was guided to pick that card out before I started the reading and I bypassed it. I totally forgot. So it fell to remind me. 
but you heard me say the word juju and juju is like a, a little slang name for people who practice evil works or evil intentions so if someone is doing black magic or aka juju on you someone who doesn't like you someone who doesn't wish you well someone who's usually jealous of you someone who has you know it has to grind with you so to speak um is really doing something underhanded very vile it's not something sweet and innocent trust me they're not praying for you or lighting a candle in a good way for you they're doing things to conjure up negative things to happen in your life they're hoping and waiting and praying for your downfall and as vile and as terrible as that sounds it is very real and there are people in this world unfortunately that aren't angelic they don't um come from a point with the backing of the angels they come from backing of other dark, dark sources so those type of energies and those type of people do exist and even with just your people's thoughts people's genuine thoughts without even doing all this extra stuff can hurt you so that is why it's so important that you guard yourself you know spiritually that you protect yourself that you pray each day consistently as many times as you can as 11 11 just came up the angelic number confirming that prayer and protecting ourselves and keeping our vibration and our soul and spirit in line with god in line with the truth can void all of this can protect us from this because you don't necessarily know for sure when someone is trying to spiritually attack you until it's already done or you're really going through it but you can do the preventive work so that even if someone gets the idea to to practice these ill negative things upon you that it will repel back to them or even if it doesn't go back to them it will not touch you so some of you this card could be coming up this month of july because you're experiencing this or you might have a thought or an inkling that someone really dislikes you so much that they would go to this length so if this message is for you then that's a reminder you need to really start taking your spiritual baths burning your sage cleansing your house watching your surroundings watching who you have around you because the enemy is always closer than we think right the enemy is not usually the person that you think it is it's someone who has access to you and is near you with the message recharge your energy Distance yourself, take a break. You might need a vacation, time to pamper yourself, some self-indulgence. Do the things that make you happy. As you do the things that make you happy and you recharge yourself, sometimes, or most of the times during that recharging process, that's when you open up. That's when you awaken and your soul and spirit shows you what is there around you or what it is that you need to be aware of so just like when we recharge our batteries right it gives a boost it gives life back to our electronics or our items it gives it power when we take time to pamper ourselves and recharge ourselves by distancing ourselves from people or energies or just from life itself we take that much needed vacation we take that spiritual break that that mental break that physical break from you know running around and working and stressing all the time and when we self-indulge and make ourselves happy and do things to pamper ourselves and to make ourselves feel good smell good you're doing the things that make you happy and in that relaxation in that meditative mode in that happy hour you're safe and the universe opens up to you because then you are free you're not running around all you know stressed out you're not running around with anxiety when we're running around with so many ideas and running about deadlines and this you know romance and this problem and that bill when life is lifing right we know when life is lifing there's so much going on and when you don't take the time to break away from that lifing you get burnt out and this is where people who want to harm you or people who have negative energy get you broken down to the point where it can tap into you with the with the angelic message of 1414 appearing at this time so that is why that we need to on a regular basis because just like how a battery dies after extensive use we energetically need to be recharged we need to be recharged so that we are on our a game spiritually we're on our smarts we're tapped into our intuition not just for us to function better and to do better and be better but also to make us on the alert and to be protective of anything that might be against us 
We also get the message of blocked. Some of you might be having issues with your crown chakra. There could be some reasons why certain things you're not manifesting or you're not thinking clearly or people are not able to get to you and talk to you um, and, and get you to answer in a responsive uh, way that you usually would. So there could be issues with your intentions. Your intentions are not being heard or they're being blocked for some reason. Um, your divine connections could be off. Um, your consciousness, your cosmic energy, your illumination, your divine wisdom. All of this is tied to your crown chakra. So, you know, it's not just like I said, when your battery's not recharged that you just lose power to your electronics, but it also means that you can't use your electronic, right? Your, your electronic is unavailable to you. Without use of that electronic, it might affect your out flow or your output of work. So the same thing with our crown chakra, when it's blocked and it's not relatively available and we're not able to get the messages that we need to get, it affects so many different portions of our life. So now before we go on to the continued cards, let's go to the message that we got, the spiritual message for you for the prelude of this reading and it was receive love from the other side loved ones who have just passed are eager to connect with you through synchronicities your dreams music and including nature you may also feel their spirit as an energy shift physical sensation or a wave of strong emotions certain loved ones in particular now act as spiritual guardians sending you wisdom and blessings love never dies so what i like about the fact that i was guided to pick this card as a clarifier or just an initiative to start out this reading is because when you're talking about being released or releasing yourself from toxic actions people and things and you're talking about protecting yourself from negative and toxic energies our angelic angels, our heavenly angels, and our ancestors who are the loved ones who have passed on, whether now or a few years ago, they are there to connect with us and to help us. And they too are a source of light and guides to us to help us, to show us what needs to be released, to show us what's not working and possibly guide us to what is. They let us have those aha moments in our dreams or however they reach us, as it says in the card. In many ways, they can correspond to us, even though it's not in the physical sense. They can send out messages that can impact you physically. So it's so important that you stay in tune with your ancestors, that you pray to the angels, that you thank them, and don't ever think that they are not aware of your presence. Don't ever think that they don't love you and they're not trying to provide love and protection for you from the other side. So I love that that message came out because again, that angelic energy, the protection from our ancestors is so important when we're trying to release things and when we're trying to protect ourselves from negative entities. As we continue on, we get daily mantra by the power of three times three made a bad vibe stay away from me wow i love that kind of rhymes right so a great daily mantra is by the power of three times three made a bad vibes stay away from me what a beautiful thing to say in the morning or throughout your day when you feel challenged or you just feel some type of negative energy someone's giving you the you know the evil eye or whatever the case may be to remind you and to to Put it out there in the universe to keep bad vibes away from you. Okay, so let's say it together. By the power of three times three, may the bad vibes stay away from me. So I hope you use this mantra and let me know how it works out for you. We continue on with beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. Well, Sagittarius, for those of you who watch my videos on a consistent basis, you know how I feel about the X, and you know in those X Factor readings how I always say they're an X for a reason. Beware of anyone from your past, especially this month as we start July. 
wanting to enter back into your life. Most people that want to come back to you only want to come back to you for their own personal gain. They want to come back to you because maybe they're being blocked from their other lovers or maybe they only have you or see you as an option for financial support, for a roof over their head, to gaslight you, to love bomb you. Their intentions, nine times out of 10, are never really good. And on top of that, the change in the healing that they're saying to you that they've done, they haven't. They're probably worse than when they left you, okay? So beware of anyone from your past wanting to enter back into your life. Of course, you judge everyone on a case-by-case -case basis, but like I said, most people coming back into your life are only coming not because they love you. They may and well, in fact, miss you, but usually it's because they need to self-gratify or self-certify a particular need. As we continue with the person causing you negativity is a fire sign. Wow. So someone could be causing you negativity and it could be a fellow Sag, right? A Leo any one of the fire elements could be causing you some drama. And then finally, at the bottom of the deck, we get secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. Well, there's that third party action. There's the person who's hating you from the side. This can even be someone that you actually know within your circle. Because you see how the word secretly starts it out? Secretly, they are jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. Who knows and who has more information about your romantic relationship than the people around you? Yes, there are strangers. There are people who might have access to the internet and see your relationship. But again the greater aspect of it is is that your enemy is always closer to you than you think and your enemy would be definitely the one if they are jealous of you if they have a certain feeling um, about your person wanting them for themselves or just not wanting to see you happy of course they're going to do it in secret they're not going to do it playing out in your face right so they're secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship could be for many reasons they don't have a partner of their own or they have a partner of their own but from what you're saying or bragging and that's why i always say watch what you say to your friends about your relationship i don't care if you have the best lover on the planet a lot of people don't and they feel a way about that so you need to guard and protect your relationship by first by not sharing the intimate details and a lot of the information that you post and the pictures that you post on the internet you don't need to do that and you shouldn't do it for the protection and health of your relationship because there are people who are in relationships or not partnered or boot up that feel a certain way they're jealous that you've got what they want or you have or you're experiencing romantically what they wish they could have even though it's not their life it's not their journey and they don't understand that maybe this is what was meant for you that what's meant for them is something different maybe they have a karmic lesson to learn maybe their person hasn't come yet but people who are not spiritually in tuned can't reason they don't listen to common sense they're not tapped in so they're not thinking logically about that so just be careful whenever you sense something is wrong within your circle or people who are around you reacting to you and your boo in a certain way or someone that's a little too friendly or might be crossing the line with your boo like i said the signs are usually there even though they are trying to do it secretly sometimes they can't help themselves but slip just a little when they're around you and if it's the energy of someone who isn't in your media circle again they might say something negative on social media. You might hear something through someone else that they've said. But never, never doubt that there's the haters around, okay? You could be the best and most nicest person on the planet. Probably the nicer you are, unfortunately, the more haters you're going to have. So as long as you're aware of that and you protect yourself and you guard yourself, and like I said, you guard and protect the information that you put out about your relationship, and your partner the better off you will be so i love that we've gotten these messages so far for the month 
of July of what to release and what to let go. Let's go to the tarot and see what card we're guided to for an overall clarifier of these messages and the energy for releasing and for protecting ourselves. Wow, the Nine of Wands. And I, I think that's rightfully so because the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> just by the depiction, right? It's like you've put up a fence or you're guarding yourself from some type of harm or some type of, you know, you're avoiding people getting access to you or getting entry to where you live. You are making sure that you're making like a fortress in a sense too, right? You're fortifying your space. You're protecting yourself from foul play. You definitely are questioning trust issues with certain people and you are working from a place and showing that you have discretion amongst your relationships and you show discretion in your conversations with people because you know that ultimately, not everyone that says they're a friend is a friend. Most friends can ultimately be your biggest foe. So it's a sign of caution. It's a sign of you building up a fence, protecting you, from harm's way or negative energies you're setting up boundaries and again you're just on your p's and q's to make sure that no one can you know get to you or hurt you in any particular way let's gather some more information on this nine of wands energy as i go to my little journal here and i always suggest you know i made this journal when i was doing the initial study of the cards many years ago it's a great idea to make your own journal where you can break down your own um identification and source of energy and meaning to the cards and then add to it anything that you've learned through readings or through the internet through books however you get your information on astrology and and the tarot so in closing the nine of wands is also a sign of our test of faith showing our resilience that no matter if someone has evil thoughts or someone is trying to do something to stop or alter our journey or to break up our relationships we will uh, you know we will contain we will endure they can test our faith and our resilience but we will be persistent and stand strong it's a reminder that yes the people are trying to or life itself or just the energies around you at any given time could be blocking the process of your creativity or the flow of your life but the good thing for about this is that it shows that Sagittarius can handle adversity. Struggles might be ahead, but we have the power to overcome them. Maintaining our strength in any situation, we continue to press forward in a progressive way and in a positive way. So no matter what people might be trying to do or what they're saying about us negatively, it bounces off of us. It may return to them or it may not return to them. But as long as it doesn't impact our journey, as long as it doesn't slow us down, as long as it doesn't break up our relationships or do anything to our family or our spiritual development and growth and the nature of our soul and being, we are good. So I hope this July version of the release and protect reading has been a source of light and in, in, in inspiration and also a reminder of how much we really do need to guard and protect our spaces how much we need to cleanse and purge and continue to go along the spiritual journey learning and growing and being on the alert namaste and don't forget by the power of three times three made bad vibes stay away from you and me. I threw that you in there for you. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao.